morning everyone it's Sheila here in Boho Daydreams welcome to my channel yes I'm still in Montana yes I really did try hard to get to Canada but oh the obstacles so I called a facility that does the swabs here in the Bitterroot Valley and they confirmed with me that I would have my results back in the time it required to be able to get to the border um, before 72 hours. So excited, so I got all my stuff done. You guys were so great with your invoices and whatnot. I had everything ready and sent off, getting sent off. And I went in on Monday and then they told me that they couldn't guarantee that my results would be back within four days. And I need them back within two days so that I can actually get to the border in time. It's about seven hours from here and I'm driving. And so, wow, um, my heart sunk, really. And it's probably the best thing that I couldn't because I don't know that I could have gotten ready in like two and a half days. So I had to make some phone calls to the city, which is about 40 miles from here. And then I found, they weren't answering their phones, and then I, it took a couple of days, and then I found um, one of the uh, care centers that says that their results are back in about 36 hours. So in the meantime, to keep busy, to keep from um, feeling this stress, because I feel a bit of stress over all of this now, um, I started cleaning and preparing what I want to to take along and it's it's been good because I've I've been making little packages for myself too so in the meantime I ran into a lot of totes of lace that um, I I knew I would never use and I didn't even know if the group crafters would use it and if I had even thought that maybe um, that you would use it. I probably would have made smaller packages and just had you pay for the shipping, which is what I did with the big packages. Um, but I didn't. I just like everything that can fit into a bag goes in a bag and then just pay the shipping. So I got rid of a lot of stuff that way. And probably when I come back, I'll be doing that again with more stuff because I do have a lot of stuff. But in the meantime, I'm so excited because I got to create some packages for myself. And oh, it's so much fun. And I look at them and I think, oh, it's so pretty. How am I supposed to use that? But I'm going to. So what I've done, and I'm probably going to do this with more packages in the future. I dyed up some antique laces so and some um, thicker silk and added a bit of white antique lace and um, some really lovely cheesecloth and more laces and all types of laces and they all dye differently it all comes from the same dye lot the same dye bath but it's just like shades of it because of the difference in the fabrics and the content oh it's so pretty so i made one of these for me oh, i made this one this one's so pretty and I just really dyed anything that I had on hand. Look at how, oh, look how pretty that is. Oh. And then I also just made up a little package. And I dyed different types of lace that I had. So there's like shades of lace. And this here is a piece of, I don't even know what it is. But it sure dyed pretty. And some silk and some of the laces and whatnot. Oh, I just love that. I have some digi kits that I'm going to be taking along and I'm going to show them to you once I get to Canada. So I have something to touch base with when I get to Canada. And then I made this one too. This is that royal blue. And this came about after I had de-stashed all that lace. Otherwise I might may even have tried to dye some of it, but I just needed stuff gone. I was kind of in a panic because I couldn't get across the border. It just kind of stressed me out really badly. So isn't that pretty? 
Oh, I just love it. Look at, oh, I don't have any more of this lace. I only had a tiny little piece that I know of. There's probably some hiding somewhere else, but it's so pretty. And even this, some of this is ivory and I love this. This is antique, but it was an ivory nylon lace, but it's dyed so pretty. So those are for me. I'm going to take those along, and if I have a chance, I might even dye a different color for myself, too. In the meantime, just to kind of keep myself busy, I made two of these. So there's two more of these uh, trim packages left, and they're very, very similar to the one that's already um, that I've made a video of. So I'm just going to link that in the description box. And there's just one or two pieces that are different, and this is the one piece. I think the other one had a blue piece like this, and this one has a green turquoise piece like that. So there's two of those. If you want to claim one, it's scoghill4 at gmail.com or Boho Daydreams Facebook group or um, the Facebook page. So what I'm really here about is this beautiful journal that I was gifted. And it's a pretty big journal, so I'm going to go through it a little bit um, faster. Um, Pam, her name is Pam Ash, Pamela Ash. She doesn't have an Etsy, and she doesn't have a YouTube channel. But she gifted this beautiful, amazing journal to me. Um, I just, I love it. The, the cover is so pretty. And look at this lace. Isn't that lace beautiful? Oh, I just love it. Oh, so pretty. And she added this beautiful card, and, and it has a beautiful little letter to me on the back. So we're just going to pop in. She has loaded this down. Oh, my goodness. Pam, pam, pam. Look at this. Can you hear that? <laughs> Look at those beautiful charms. As Mrs. Cog would say, drippings. So there is a lot of journaling cards in here. And Pam, I have a few of Pam's other little one signature journals that she has sent me over the years. Um, I've been connecting with Pam for almost three years now. Um, and there's a lot of just beautiful journaling cards everywhere. Some stitching, lots of lace. Old lace, um, vintage lace, beautiful little dangles. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Whoops. And there's a funny story with Pam. Pam told me um, when I first connected with her several years ago that she was working on some boho journals. Here's a flip out. That has some more beautiful tags in it. Look at these gorgeous tags. And excuse my nails. Um, the culprit is the, the royal blue sitting over there. Anyway, Pam had told me about printing on parchment paper. And she just loved parchment paper so much that I went to look for parchment paper. And then, of course, I found it. Some beautiful um, ephemera in there. Then I had found it on eBay and it was a subscription and you got, I don't know how many, how many sheets in a box for X amount of dollars. And I thought, wow, because you know, I, one day I'm going to be making lots of journals. I plan on it. So I ended up with, I don't know, eight or 10 boxes of this parchment paper and it's really lovely. And I've never made a journal yet with it. But I did do some printing on it, and I can see why Pam loves it so much. Because it prints beautifully. Um, I don't know if I have the same parchment paper as she has, but it sure does print print nicely. Um, so that, yeah, that's that's the, the Pam story. You know, if you just want, if you just want something to make a lot of sales, just let me know what you use, and then I'm going, going to go and get a subscription to it. Look at all these beautiful tags. Look at all the stitching. Oh, it's just beautiful.
and um, Pam was worried that this wasn't going to get to me on time because I was leaving last Tuesday. And then everything went kind of haywire. Tuesday or Wednesday I was going to leave because they told me that it would be like 36 hours that I would have the results back. And then I got there and like, yeah, we can't guarantee anything and we don't want to take your money. I'm like, please take my money. Let's just risk it. And they wouldn't. And so I've had time to get myself organized. Oh, I love that. All the colors that she used. I just love it. Um, um, not that I'm going to be using it or anything like that. I just like to look at it. I hope everyone's having plans for the weekend that you get to craft a little bit. I love this. It's like a, a vellum envelope attached with some washi tape. Oh, so pretty. More beautiful. Beautiful little drippings. Oh, I just love it. Oh. My loves. These aren't mine, but I sure do love animals. Little Edith Holden. You wouldn't have a floral journal without a little Edith Holden. Oh, I just love these, Pam. I don't know which digital kit you used here, but oh, it's so pretty. I'm excited. I'll be in isolation for two weeks. I'll be doing a couple of COVID swabs on myself. So that should be fun. Um, and then in two weeks, when all of my swabs come back negative, then I can be released into the general population. And that's exciting. Then I get to hold my grandson. I, I'll be able to see them through the windows. I don't know if we'll be doing that because I know my granddaughter will be having a bit of a hard time knowing that I'm in the basement and she can't get to me. It'll be hard on me. Oh my goodness. Pam, this is a very beautiful journal. Thank you so much for thinking of me and making me feel so special. Isn't that pretty? Oh, and we were in the city yesterday. And um, my husband knows how much older. Oh, and there's a selection of bags for me. We were in the city, and my husband knows how much I love mugs. There's no secret about that, because he's bought me several of the mugs that I, that I, you know, use when I'm making videos and whatnot. But he bought me another mug, which I'm really excited about. Look at all those journaling cards. He bought me another mug. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh. Ignore that. Ignore that because I'm using it. Um, but it sure is pretty. I like to have room to have them kind of sitting all over. Sitting all over the place because I love beautiful, colorful mugs. So if anyone um, would like one of those trim packages, again, here's my contact information. Scoghill for gmail.com. And Facebook group is Boho Daydreams. Um, Facebook page or Facebook group. I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.